riding on the internet, cyberspace, set free, hello virtual reality, interactive appetite, searching for a website, a window to the world, got to get online, take a spin, now you're in with the techno set, you're going surfing on the internet. Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing some personality quizzes, Jay. I was originally just going to go from one of those websites that just has a ton of like user made ones, but as I started out by just searching personality quiz, this is on Google and I found this one that is supposed and I quote this, this quiz and I quote supposedly came from Dr. Phil but <laughs> they haven't been able to authenticate it I don't know what kind of results to expect from the Dr. Phil personality quiz also the music Come on. I think I might need to... Even though I don't think I did anything with what audio channel I have Nightbot not on. Guess I did. Because now it's it's playing properly. All right, so this is the questions will honestly about yourself, and we'll score the quiz and let you know how others see you. The quiz supposedly came from Doctor Phil, but we have have been unable to authenticate it, so take it with a grain of salt. I usually feel my best at the same afternoon and early evening. Because if it gets too late, then that's a sign that I'm just experiencing insomnia. Uh, if I'm still up. Uh, and... Uh, like, unless there's something I'm specifically staying up for that I can't just do at another time. Do take long steps, but that's mostly because as I'm incredibly lanky. <laughs> like, so like I have very long legs. What do you mean by less fast head up looking the world in the face? Like, what's that supposed to mean? So probably, like... I mean, I'd say my steps aren't long from the length of my legs. Like, you know... You know, the only thing, the only thing that my length, that the length of my legs can really tell you is I have long legs. Can't really, and so like, unless you can extrapolate some kind of impact that might have on my personality, that's completely worthless information in a personality test. How many people do you stand with your arms folded, your hands clasped? Have one or both both of your hands on your hips. Touch or push the person you are taking their ear or hair touch chin or smooth your hair. I do have a tendency to stand with my arms folded. Like, I, like, I'm trying to do that a little bit less, but I also don't do much of it, any of these other things, like, 
guess he'll like to stand with your arms folded. Relax and you sit with your knees bent and with your legs neatly side by side, your legs crossed, your legs stretched out over straight, or one leg curled under you. Well, seeing as how I'm sitting with my legs crossed right now, <laughs> guess as that's my answer. If something really amuses you, react with a big appreciate, a big appreciative laugh. Laugh out loud on a quite chuckle or a sheepish smile. Hmm. Say a laugh, but not a loud one. You go to a party, of social gathering, you make a loud entrance, and so no, so the notices you make a quiet entrance, it's looking for, around for someone you know, make the quietest entrance, trying to stay unnoticed. I'd say probably right in the middle there. Working very hard, concentrating hard, and you're interrupted. You. Hmm. It's a vary between the two extremes. Depends on... Honestly, a lot of the time it depends on how I'm feeling about oh, whatever I'm focusing on. Because if I'm starting to hate it, I will absolutely be welcome a distraction. But if I'm really into it, I don't like being taken out of it. So the following colors you like the most, red slash orange, black, yellow slash light blue, green, dark blue slash purple, white, or brown slash gray. Hmm. Well, there's no teal option. I do enjoy a good dark blue and purple, although... When you're in bed at night and those those classrooms are going to sleep you are. Stretch out on your back, stretch out face face down on your stomach, on your side slightly curled, your head on head on one arm, your head uncovered. This is pretty much my default sleeping position. So You often dream that you are falling, fighting or struggling, searching for some, something or somebody, flying or floating. You have endless sleep. Your dreams are always pleasant. I do have some unfortunate recurring dreams. Dreams about fighting for reasons I don't feel like getting into. This online screening is not a diagnostic tool. Only a trained medical professional, like a me doctor or mental health professional, can help you determine the next best steps for you. Oh, is this like a mental health thing? Apparently I'm the loyal friend. Your total score, 39 out of 64. Others see you as sensible, cautious, careful, and practical. They see you as clever, gifted, or talented, but modest. Not a person who makes friends too quickly or or easily, but someone who's extremely loyal to friends you do make and who, who expects the same loyalty in return. Those who really get to know you realize that a lot means it takes a lot not to shake your trust that is in your friends, but equally that it takes you a long time to get over, over if, if that trust is ever broken. I'd say I'd say that's fairly accurate. Right, so I also found this one. And it, five thirty-eight. Most personality quizzes are junk junk signs to the point that isn't. Already already dragging like the MBTI. Right, so let's see 
What's your personality and do, then what can it tell you about your true self? Those questions have launched a thousand online personality quizzes and you can and do better than those spacious yet irresistible those specious those yet irresistible no quizzes. You can take take a personality quiz backed by science. Meet the big five. The Either the way most psychologists measure and test personality is a system built on decades of research. Oh, it's the ocean test. Like it's like why are you call what's this five thirty eight business? Because when you're literally just like giving me the ocean test. agree a little at least on these I tend to be quiet tend to be compassionate disorganized I worry a lot has anybody or literature agree I'm not <laughs> I'm sometimes rude to others, but it's entirely my mistake. Like when it does happen, like I'm I'm not dominant or leaderly at all. Difficult, yeah. Sometimes, to to disagree on. Any, like I used to feel a lot worse. I'm I'm very interested in abstract ideas, so but I'd say I'm still not full of energy. I think neutral, it depends on the person, whether I assume the best about someone. I try to be reliable. I try to be emotionally stable. All and hard to upset. I also try and come up with original ideas, but like. I definitely disagree a bit. Definitely, I've definitely had plenty of times when I'm not the most outgoing. I can be cold and uncaring. Hmm. I try not to be. Keep things neat and tidy. Emily, no. Like, like just looking at, just looking at my desk. And how much clutter is on it? relax and can and handle stress well no like I have more than a few artistic interests a little bit I prefer to have others take charge If you're, if you're worthy of respect, then I will respect you. Fortunately, most people I know are worthy of my respect, so... I am, per I am persistent and work until the task is finished. 
if I'm into it, then yeah, I'll, I'll work hard. So I'm gonna disagree a little on that. To I'm a fairly complex and deep thinker. I'd say, honestly, depending on the person, I'm more active. Tend to find fault with others. Again, kind of... Say, yeah, I can be slightly careless at times. Let's see. Oh, per apparently this is like, yeah, this is literally the ocean test, basically. I got well, I think they changed because I'm pretty sure on the original ocean test it Negative emotionality is neuroticism. It's got high openness to experience. You probably tried to hit on several personal styles and hobbies during your life, and your curious brain is actively seeking new things to explore. Or your identity may, may be flexible enough to change, but you're more likely to find success in careers that value that. The arts, for instance, and don't trap yourself in a theater or kid box. Like so, people with high openness, openness also do well. All careers that involve investigation and discovery. Well, <laughs> as someone who's who's like top three picks for future career paths to. I was getting my bachelor's or I was getting a, getting a bachelor's degree or anthropologist, lawyer, and or in, or in private investigator, I'd say maybe yeah, that's a good fit. They might they become scientists, lawyers, or investigative journalists, basically weaponizing their intellectual curiosity and willingness to try new things and explore new ideas. It, be aware, though, that dangerous drugs are most things are more like likely to be willing to try. Substance use disorders are high risk. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, and apparently they've got sub traits: aesthetic sensitivity, in, 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 intellectual curiosity. I scored higher on those than on creative imagination. But also, I'm just higher on this in general than the, the national average or 538 staffers from the looks of it. Agreeableness, moderate agreeableness. You have to be pretty, you, dang, you have to be pretty dang to unagreeable well, to truly count as a low agreeableness in this person. A lot of the outcomes that correlate with low agreeableness, like being, being, being chronically bullied or bullying or, or having a criminal record don't kick in until someone scores down in the 10th percentile. So even though all, all, the, all the big five traits need to operate on a spectrum with the, the people in the middle tending to experience it, a little of, up, of both poles those feel to the extreme. Name it, the population and the people who can't are as moderately agreeable is particularly large. It's just that some, some of you may have a, a little less tendency towards empathy, the compassion and trust of your fellow human being beings and others. No, no goody goody. But you're also you're not what the professional might refer to as a selfish jerk. <laughs> 
conscientiousness, moderate conscientiousness, and I tend higher towards compassion and respectfulness and trust, apparently. Which, that, that seems to be, like, average. So... Moderate conscientiousness. The highly conscientiousness are detailed, male-oriented goal-setters who dot their, their I's, cross their T's, keep detailed spreadsheets of all the times they did that. They tend to do well at work, or be productive at home, and lean, lean toward being religious. People with low conscientiousness, on the other hand, are slovenly he types who smoke and drink, and they can tend to not have finished the chores they, they said they'd get done. We just have gunshot noises <laughs> in the back. They keep there are benefits and drawbacks to people on both ends of the spectrum, but that if we had to choose a roommate, we'd pick you, someone in the middle. So I'm most highly towards, towards productiveness and responsibility than organization. Negative emotionality, moderate negative emotionality. You don't exactly have a propensity towards sadness, anger, and anxiety. You also no, aren't lacking those tendencies either. Or all the big five traits needs to operate on a spectrum. Um, blah 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 blah. Also, me you know, that means you're also likely getting a taste of the outcomes. Probably with both those polls too. People with hot score high on and negative emotionality have rocky relationships. Maybe you've had a relationship that brought other side out more than others. The low, no negative emotionality folks will, they'll cheerfully work the same job for decades with no burnout. Maybe you take a little longer to reach the age burnout stage, even if you eventually do. You're reading this and thinking, hey, doesn't that just make me a normal human? Well, statistically, yes. That would that'd be how bell curves work, wouldn't it? Don't worry, that hey, there's probably another personality trait where you're more extreme. I mean... Like, maybe the sub-trade of anxiety? Which, I mean... <laughs> Where, like, I'm very nearly at 100. Like, the reason I got... Like, the reason I was so moderate was because... My ring on the depression and emotional volatility sub-trade rates are, are so low com by comparison. Extroversion. Low extroversion. We live in a, a society that generally values and rewards extroversion, and that can make, make life tough for a more withdrawn person. Science tends to emphasize the downer aspects of your personality. You probably have difficulty making friends and finding people to date, eat, for instance. You might also have a low opinion of your own looks, but being an introvert isn't all bad. It, and some scientists think low extroversion has protected humans from disease. You can't pick up a bug from people if you avoid people. I mean, true. Like, literally. Literally, when, you know, all the quarantines start happening, it's just like, oh. So I'm basically back to... So I'm basically back to where I was, like... Basically all week, every week, until I, until I started attending college. Because, like... like literally... Literally when I enrolled in, in my local community college... It was the first time I ever actually had... Anything that I was going out to do... On on a weekly basis for a good portion of each week. Like, up until then, I pretty much left the house like once, maybe twice a week to 
Maybe because I I was homeschooled. Well, well, for from like preschool up until well high school, well graduation. So yeah, I didn't go to a public school all for most of my life. One say even found a lower prevalence of extroversion, places where contagious diseases were historically common. One of the best bits of advice for the less extrovert is to find in spaces where, where, where they get to live the way they want to, and where their personalities are valued. That's probably, that's probably why being less extroverted is correlated with choosing, excelling at jobs that, were, that require working alone. There's a high pre major prevalence of introverts in the American West. Did you, did you considered a career in ranching? <laughs> and my highest trade on here is energy level. As far as sub traits. Alright, so now on to this whole wide selection. And of personality quizzes from Quotev. Got like, like what strange phobia do you have? Answer some questions, I'll I'll give you a Yoma Awari girl. I have no idea what that is at all. Oh, I guess it's a video game? You've got Find Your Aesthetic. Let's browse for the featured ones. What would your, your superpowers be? Why is your gender identity? Are you paranoid? What main character are you book edition? It's got Hunger Games. Whatever Cutlick is. Divergent, Let the Sky Fall, in the selection. Oh, and it specifies which female book character are you? Lucid's OC personality test. What type of killer are you? Are you completely random? Pick some images and, and I'll give you an aesthetic. Are you not like other girls? Well, I'm not a girl, so... <laughs> this is a joke, okay? Don't come at me. Are you top of the bomb or switch? I'm ace, so I'm none of those. What faction do you belong in? Divergent. Find your aesthetic. What kind of mer are you? Are you straight, pan, and slash bi or gay? Girls only. Well, again, you know, I'm not a girl and I'm ace, so... What's it? Her color? What's your color? What's you color? Find out by taking this quiz. You, you have to then follow me because I fall back. Sparkle emoji, enjoy. You know what? <laughs> Start with this one, I guess. And just see where we go. With what's you color? Pick a style. Got tomboy. Boy. Girl, like pretty clothes, clothes and dresses. Boy, like fancy boy. <laughs> or gender fluid, either ca don't care or don't know. Hmm. I mean, I imagine. I mean, imagine when they mean fancy boy, they mean like maybe like. Like, like, nice suits or something? I do, I do like formal wear. You know what, I'm gonna go with don't, with don't know. I don't like sports. <laughs> Pick a word to describe you. Kind, fun, good, strange, cool, leader, weird, or lonely. You know what? Strange? 
like a fruit, banana, or blackberry, fruit, strawberry, grape, lemon, or then lime, or watermelon. Well I, well, I can tell you that this right now, I'm not a fan of grapefruit. Unless it's got, like, sufficient sugar to make up for the kind of bitter tendency needless, those things seem to have. I think I'll go with orange. Pick an emoji. Got like smiling, ang angry, cool, shocked, surprised. We've got the tired one that I've also seen people using to mean basically like horny <laughs> yeah i'm gonna go with the one with sunglasses what do you like to do read a sport yes i do a sport i like to do a sport <laughs> be with friends or family or pets experiment video games be alone tease people or bully them help people Look around slash be curious. Ah yes. My hobby? Being curious. <laughs> My favorite hobby is looking around. I'm gonna go with video games because I mean... That's what I do most days when I don't have anything... I don't have any like classwork that I need to be doing. See, what water animal? Fish, shark, whale, urchin, seahorse, sea turtle, crab, or dolphin? Well, I mean, science seems to indicate that crabs are, like, the most superior sea animal, seeing as how, like, he, he, there's literally a scientific name for the process of becoming a crab uh, through evolution, so... What pet animal? Cat, bird, guinea pig, snake, dog, bunny or rabbit, rat or mouse, fish, lizard, I'm gonna go at What food? Tacos, pierogies, ramen, sausage, bacon, eggs, grilled cheese, pizza, Spaghetti or mac and cheese. Hmm. Well, I do have a fondness of like pizza, spaghetti, he, he and mac and cheese. I've never actually had ramen. I'm not even entirely sure what pierogi is. I have no idea if it's spelled right. It might be Brogy with an I E at the end. Oh, it's a, it's a kind of dumpling. Interesting. Again, never had one, so. Yeah, I'm gonna go with pizza, maybe? What, what music type? Lo-fi, pop, hip-hop, love slash rap, indie pop, rock slash classic rock, classic music, jazz or pop, pop rock, emo or emo pop punk. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to... I'm going to just sort of look up what genres... My sort of top three artists tend to be, he considered to be, and go by that. Alright, so. Looks like. So now we're probably starting out with 
indie pop or pop rock emo probably indie pop experience is apparently considered to be indie pop or pop rock so lemon demon is considered indie rock pop rock new wave it's like you know once again I mean, I guess I could just go with pop and not worry about the specifications. What type of real me next e text do you like? You've got one with bubbles, you've got one with like cursive, you've got one that's just in bold. Some kind of weird font, emojis, e's and their weird text. Yeah, I'm gonna go for this one. What color do you like? I mean... That seems like a kind of obvious question. Purple, orange, black, pink, white, need blue, red, yellow, or green. None of those are teal or so like pink night bugs sing hmm yeah sure I'll, I'll go with purple what color her eyes are you asking what color my eyes actually are? Because they're brown. What skin color? Pale. <laughs> Which wolf pack role are you? I mean... The wolf, wolf pack roles are for one thing... For one thing, were scientifically debunked by the guy that came up with the idea. <laughs> and also... What what is a Luna? <laughs> or a Delta? Let's let's find out what comes up for a Delta Wolf. It's... All that's coming up for Delta Wolf is a gun. <laughs> so I guess our options are we can be... Gonna be a Beta, an Alpha, an Omega. Which apparently that's... So we can be the basic wolf types. Alpha and Beta. We can be a gun. <laughs> You can be a Delta Wolf, which is a, which is apparently a kind of air gun. Oh, 
Oh, also, actually, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing that's actually about wolves. A Delta is known as a third in command. They're below the alphas and betas, but are higher in the rankings than other wolves. Is this what they're talking about? <laughs> alphas, betas, lead warrior, warriors, hunters, healers. We do have healers here. And healers are also an option on the quiz. But what is a Luna? This is a common arrangement of member ranks in, in a shifter pack. So it's a werewolf thing, apparently. We have alphas. The alphas are the wisest, strongest, high-ranking members of the wolf pack, as they hold absolute control over their pack egg members. The alphas are, are responsible for leading in the pack on hunts, establishing pack territory and its safety. Accepting strangers into the pack and driving errant wolves out of the pack. They're responsible all for, for keeping the pack in order. <laughs> take, take a shot and not every time, but I might say pack while reading this. You will probably die. In control, we'll take, take many precautions to see what the pack is not... Neither the pack is not disturbed. Each pack member is considered family, but respect is still per well persistent. Which I mean, honestly, in some ways it would make more sense for werewolves to have this kind of structure in their pack than actual just regular wolves. Because where it was scientifically <laughs> debunked, by the guy that came up with the idea of Alpha and Beta Wolves. <coughs> well, was, you know, human popular culture has latched onto the idea. So... Wolves could easily just sort of carry that over from their human lives into their wolf lives. Each, which each pack member is considered family, like literally, literally, the in actual wolf packs, they're not only considered family, they are family. Because like literally, <clears throat> literally, the guy saw like, hmm, these wolves. There seem to be wolves that are in charge of the rest of the wolves. Those must be the alphas and the rest are betas. No. It's just the parents and their kids. <laughs> and like he he discovered his mistake and tried to fix it, but the pop culture had already latched onto it. And The alpha couple are always the first to eat from a kill, get it's the biggest portions and choices cuts of lots of food. They tell the pack what to do, where to go, and how to work without question that's from one of their members. Keeping things at a strict basis is their way of showing and their care and concern for the pack mate eats. The alpha wolves can also choose their most trusted companions to become their betas. They demand and respect and are in position and to punish or banish those who, those who do not show it. An alpha's command cannot be disobeyed, aid without consequences. Yeah, apparently Delta Wolves are just a, basically second in command to the Betas. Deltas usually take control of the spars in training when the Betas or Alphas are too busy to do so. We also have healers, which that seems fairly self-explanatory. But that leaves the question, why is a Luna Wolf?
Luna Wolf V2 U battery pack. <laughs> we also have some of these with like OC here. <laughs> We got the Luna Wolves from Warhammer 40k, the Sons of Horus. Alright, here, here we go. The werewolf genre pulls Luna as a term their role. Maybe maybe this will enlighten us as to why Luna is. Hello everyone. Mortera Leah is here. We're again to post the next topic for the world genre polls. This time the discussion will be alpha females, more specifically the term Luna. We will we all know that on what pad Lunas are mates of the alpha. That's a favorite term. Remember who gave who gives such title to the alpha female? <laughs> what are their alpha female males roles in nature? Are they they accurately portrayed on Wattpad, this discussion will include vital information about Wolfpack structure. Let's see. One, I've never heard the term Luna used outside of Wattpad to portray any ranking within the Wolf hierarchy. So it's literally a made-up Wattpad term. Remember from the looks of it. Here's some, here's some information from actual websites like discovery.com and other Wolfpack research, research groups. Yeah, but, but literally... Literally, Rudolph Noshenkult well, later discovered that he was wrong. And I just when people say it's the official term Luna, when it is not. To, in short, it's just a fictitious term from the people mainly misinformed teenage girls. Use here on Wattpad. If it's a correct term, but if we think about it, you have the Alpha, Beta, and Omega, which all relate to a numerical order, Greek alphabet. I mean, that's not numerical, technically, if it's an alphabet. Like, I mean, if you're using an alphabet, then that's not technically numerical anyway. The term Luna is just, a span is just Spanish for moon and it totally disrupts the numerical concept, thus it really doesn't fit. You know what? I'm gonna be a normal wolf. Pick a planet element. What? <laughs> I think you mean pick a planet because you've got Earth, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus, or the Sun. So it's not even planets or elements. It's more of celestial bodies. It's like it pick a thing in our solar system. Hmm. You know what? I'm, I'm just gonna go with the sun. What dog type? Boxer, Chihuahua, Labrador, Husky. Pitbull, Great Dane, Yorkshire Terrier, Poodle, or German Shepherd. I have a fondness for Labradors, I guess. What fake animal? Jekyll, Unicorn, Dinosaur. Dinosaur? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Hold on. What do you mean, fake animal? Dinosaur? Yellow is the color of piss. <laughs> but like, 
like since when are dinosaurs fake? <laughs> <laughs> Just jackalope, unicorn, dinosaur, pegasus, phoenix, fairies, kitsune, or dragons. I've got to go with dragons to guess. Pink. You you color represents youth, good health, and playfulness. It's your first stage. You're very cheerful. How how do you even get that out of all of this? Also, is it really tied with black? <laughs> Sadly, I don't get to know what, what the black result means. Which I mean, seeing as how so much of my, like, the overlay tends to be black in sort of magenta. With some other sort of sunset colors in there, there honestly like, kind of makes sense. That's like that's a way. Not so much in a personality. Not so much the necessarily just the description of the personality. I mean, I didn't really expect much from. You know, Quizzed seems to think dinosaurs are fake, and and has repeatedly made the same U color mistake if or spelling error. So, <laughs> you know what? Let's. Find out my aesthetic. Already, already we're jumping into something I don't even know really how to approach. <laughs> Choose a make look. That one, that one looks fine, I guess. Choose a hairstyle. Sure. Choose a color scheme. Red, white, and hidden blue. Black, and dark purple, dark red. Black, pink, and white. Pink, blue, yellow, neon, green, lilac, black. Black, orange, and camo. Camo isn't a color. <laughs> Like, so, so things we are learning today, dinosaurs aren't real, and camo is a color. Got purple, light blue, and burgundy. Red, pink, and gold. You know, sure I'll go for this one. Don't know what any of this really means. <clears throat> we've got a skateboard. We've got somebody with their hands up in like a city. We've got some kind of lipstick knife. Very, very moody picture of someone wearing a jersey. Oops, you died. You're not sure I'll go with the person with cat ears. Here's a song. Positions by Ariana Grande. Happy by Pharrell Williams. You used to say by the front bottoms. Animals by Maroon 5. Kill this love by Blackpink. I don't I don't know most of these songs. Which none of them I could even play because they'll all they'll all be DMCA'd. So you know what, I'm going to go with animals because it's the one that I know that isn't a, and that hasn't been heavily associated with the minions. 
and it's just plain obnoxious. Choose the food. We've got some kind of like cheese sticks, some chili dogs, some kind of bread, with whatever this is. Whatever this is. A lollipop that's not even an actual photo. <laughs> no, no, from the looks of it. A completely jet black ice cream cone. <laughs> some flaming hot Cheetos. I believe I've had at least something along the lines of flaming hot Cheetos and I hated it because it burned my tongue. So I'm so definitely not that. Yeah, you know, let's let's go with the cheese sticks. Or you got to choose some nails. I actually paint my nails, so I have some idea as something to maybe pick. So we've got uh, it's like it's like sort of orangish, glittering color. Long and sort of burgundy, maybe with a diamond ring, zebra print and sparkly, so definitely not that. Pink and sparkly, pentagrams, Hello Kitty, pastels, and heavily damaged. I mean, I do tend to go towards... I mean, I don't take the greatest care of my, my nails, so... Maybe these? Like, I also... Like, literally all... All but one of my colors of nail polish has some sort of shimmer or sparkle to it, so... Yeah, maybe this one? Then I don't know. I don't know where any of this is leaving is leading to leading me to. Choose a hobby, hanging out with my partner, skating, drawing, shopping, running, editing videos, textiles, or taking pictures. Textiles? <laughs> like that's that's your hobby? Ah uh, yes, my, my hobby is textiles. I'm I'm gonna go with drawing. Choose an aesthetic hobby. Oh. <laughs> so is the previous set of hobbies completely meaningless now? Playing water polo, braiding my hair and going on hikes, finding over an authority figure and writing stories about them. Going to underground grave raves and wanting to die because of a girl. Well, Going to the roller rink and making TikToks, making origami and cupcakes for my partner, hanging out in subways and smoking, listening to records I found on a thrift store, drinking whiskey and being sad, seducing and destroying a man to climb my way up, also checking my makeup. <laughs> I don't particularly like any of these, honestly. Ah oh, yes, my, my hobby is being sad. <laughs> you know, I, th this seems like the most likely one that I would do, so... <clears throat> I would choose a drink. We've got Monster Energy, some iced coffee, Lucozaid. What, what even is Lucas Aid? You know what? I done thing. Find out what Lucas Aid is first. It's 
soft drink manufactured by a, a the Japanese company Suntory. It is glucose aid in the UK. <coughs> What even is this? So is Lucozade an energy drink for the sick? The company's advertising slogan was Lucozade AIDS Recovery. Huh. Well, probably not that. I've, I've actually had to go for I guess. Oh, oh, thank you. Just a question. She's an accessory. We've got cat ears, some flower. There was a, there was a beanie, a camo fanny pack. Oh, the, these are very good. Yeah, I'd say I'm. Most likely gonna go with the flowers, I guess. Choose a pattern. We've got skulls, we've got hearts, we've got smaller hearts. We've got checkers, we've got glitter and gold, we've got red and white stripes, we've got camo yet again. But hey, that's not a pattern, that's a color. <laughs> we've got uh, you got animal prints and it's uh, overlaid on multiple colors. I'm not sure I'll go with the checkers, I don't know. Apparently my stake is Kawaii. They... This means it means you're pretty sweet and cute. You love anything from Japan. Tokyo is your favorite place in the world. The Japanese street style is your favorite thing and you probably a little bit of K-pop too. Likely the stained BTS or Blackpink and have definitely win a Jimin fan think at least once, but who could blame you? You spend all your time with the significant other other you love dearly, so this can be kinda of boring. <laughs> Random burn at the end. Like this can make you kinda of boring. You should listen to Adore You by Harry Styles. I mean, it honestly, it goes well with the previous result of Pink, I guess. Oh, and apparently... Apparently, it was literally tied with, like, Four other results of Lolita's Sporty, Skater, and Grunge. <laughs> Which just tell, tells me that they know nothing. If, like, you can end up with that many different, ti different styles all tied. Let's go with the other aesthetic one. Pick some images and I'll give you an aesthetic. Pick a room, we've got... We've got some very vibrant colors. Being, I'd say that's probably kid core, since that's all the tags. Got... I like them. I like the, like, map. Oh, it's, it's from The Hobbit, apparently. We got... Very regal-looking bedroom. I could... I could get on board with a... With a, like, Ouija a bedspread. Oh, we, uh... It's a proper pronunciation since it's literally a combination of we and ya.
got a very vibrant room and we have the freaking vaporwave zone down here we got lots of plants you know what sure I'll go with that one take an outfit Not sure, it's gonna keep the, the same that one that I picked before. Picking yet another outfit. Pick an image. We've got this image just like a Vivitar camera, a picnic, some Sanrio stuff. Car. <coughs> no, I think the lighting in that one, not so much the car necessarily, but definitely the lighting. I was like just picking the ones with the colors that I enjoy. You know what, let's change it up. <laughs> uh, pick a drink, Chupa Chubs. I, I literally have an Arizona green tea he can sitting on the shelf right off my desk. So might as well go with that. Well, I think I think it might be a slightly different one. Because I think that one just had was with honey and not with ginseng thing and honey. Might as well just go with that one. Let's see. I'm not a fan of guns. So Probably another. Ooh, that was a bag. We got some very, very elaborate and most likely extremely expensive ones. We got strawberry, some clowns, mushrooms. Skeletal unicorns. Not sure what those skeletal unicorns are not. Pick a color. Got like the pale rose. The very vibrant pink. Seafoam green. And it, I'm not even entirely sure what color that is. Like what what word you would use to the mauve, perhaps? Well, actually, that one was more of a sea foam than I just picked. And... Yeah, I'm just gonna go with all the various teals and blues. Of course, I would end up with Vaporwave. Like, literally. <laughs> literally everything that I picked for most of the, the thing was. It was vaporwave, so that's my result. You made it one of the most obvious quizzes imaginable. <laughs> we've got we've got some similar options. Crane up and it'll give you an aesthetic. Plan your wedding, find out your aesthetic. Are you a soft boy now with anime soft boys? Who's your evil hot boyfriend? <laughs> Choose some desserts, get an aesthetic. Which decade of God of fashion are you? 1980s to 2010s, a random life, different universes. Options, category, E, Harry Potter, a series of, these of unfortunate events, Promise Neverland, sorry, only female. <laughs> <coughs>
No, it's, let's try maybe a slightly less obvious aesthetic one. <coughs> Choose three ice cream flavors. Nut. Chocolate, vanilla, and more just sort of oddball one. Let's go with cookies and cream, I guess. Choose a pie. Apple, blueberry, pumpkin, coconut cream, lemon meringue, strawberry rhubarb, herb, chocolate, or pecan. I, I like a good pumpkin pie. Choose a cake. Hey, Chocolate, vanilla, funfetti, ice cream, carrot, or red velvet. Pretty much always go with chocolate. Choose a donut, regular glaze, jelly, cream filled, chocolate, chocolate dip, vanilla dip. What's the difference between chocolate and... Oh, it's... Hmm. You know what? Let's find out. What does a chocolate dip donut look like compared to a regular donut? A regular chocolate donut. Ah, I see. This is... This is very confusing. What's going on right now? You know, sure, I'll go with chocolate dip, I guess. Choose a cookie, chocolate chip. You know, might as well just go with more chocolate, I guess. Choose a mochi. What? What is that? I mean, I'm probably just gonna go with... I mean, all things considered, I'm probably just gonna go with chocolate again. But let's find out what, what exactly I'm, lo uh, I'm working with. Oh, it's a rice cake. Hmm. Well, then I guess the question is, does chocolate go well with rice? Yeah, you know what? I'll put cookies and cream. She's a deep fried dessert. Okay, sure. Uh, no, deep fried cookie dough, deep fried sandwich cookie, deep fried cheesecake. Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, I've, I've never had a fall cake, but sure. Otherwise, it doesn't immediately sound absolutely disgusting. Like a like deep fried cheesecake. I was calculating. Witchy. Apparently witches just love chocolate. <laughs> Apparently. Either that or this test was entirely meaningless. Let's see, let's find out what my core aesthetic is. Which apparently some, some images may be disturbing. So let's see, we have just over room. It says, do you see me? I can feel your eyes. We have a whole bunch of anime. I have this is is that like I'm view or something? You're not sure. Choose an activity, watch anime, chat with people on the internet, learn bed, play video games. Choose a personality 
awkward, being social, being awkward, being confused, being cute, being or being crazy. You know what, sure I'll go with that one. Choose the word friendliness, loneliness, corruption, gentle, or obsession. Choose a sentence. I can't think about what pain you made me make go through. I'm lost in this corrupted world. I love you and I always will. You make me feel at ease. I believe we used to watch anime together. Now you feel so distant to me. This is days when I waited for you to log on. I'm just gonna pick one. Same picture again. Choose another picture. Let's go with the eyes at the maze again. Weird core. I'm scared. I want to go back, but it's a dream. I don't actually want to. It hurts. Weird core is a dreadfully twisted stuff to me. It includes a other aesthetics, other aesthetics such as kid core, nostalgic core, dream core, angel core. In some cases, in extreme cases, even trauma core. It's rather interesting to me, either sliding deep into it, it can be quite disturbing. Most of the pictures are low quality. The intention to give them the thing of slash loneliness. Most often, you'll find colorful text on it, rather disturbing images, as well as people with silhouettes. Go away, 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 not real. And there's no ties or anything. Hang on that one. <laughs> the PhD is lying to you. What? <laughs> what is this? What, what kind of rabbit hole have I just stumbled onto? To this place, do you believe? What the fuck is this? <laughs> I guess you'll be free? Who is a man? A friend, a foe, a family member, or a stalker? <coughs> Sounds like a foe, honestly. What this task will you complete? Murder, gather, follow, or create? Sure, I'll make something. Is he really a he? I guess so. What does he call this place? A research center or person? A hospital or a laboratory. What? What even is this? This is supposed to be. Sure, a research center. What, what doesn't he tell you? His identity, his past, his future, or your future? Not sure his identity, I guess. Why does he choose you specifically? You're desperate, you're abandoned, you're skilled, you're easy to manipulate. I'd like to think that I did something positive. What's most suspicious? The times he appears, his manner, his smile, his, or his knowledge. I don't. I have no. What's he most of the time with you or away? What do you do to protect yourself? Lie, act, run, uh, keep, or run? What do you mean keep? Chains, unlocked. What, what, <laughs> what, what have I even stumbled upon? Like the music is fittingly Mag, despite saying it's calm. <clears throat> but somehow. Somehow it fits.
You know, let's... Let's maybe not dive deeper down that particular rabbit hole. And let's find, like, an anime quiz or something. Anything to take to lighten the mood a little. You know what? Sure. Let's go with... Let's go with Dangarumpa, and interestingly, cute Dangarumpa music, albeit a different game. And no, you don't. <laughs> no. no. Alright, say slightly low to medium, low self esteem. No. Try to be optimistic. Not much of a leader. I guess. Try to be logical. Depends on the person. And whether or I care what other people think of me, because it, do, it ultimately comes down to whether I respect that person's opinion, and or not. You know, usually read the atmosphere and the feelings of others. I'd say, not, not always. I think it's more important to do the right thing, or to do things right. Do the right thing. You think it's possible to recover from bad person? Yeah, you ever have delusions of brain injury that it could be considered unhealthy? No. More of the future of the present or past. You're organized or chaotic. I mean, I'm trying to become more organized. Do you consider myself intelligent? Is it harder for you to tell someone you love them or to tell someone you hate them? Do you think it's fair to love and lose, or, or never to love? Do you think it's easier to love or be loved? Hmm. Do you think it's more important to be liked or respected? Say respected. You consider yourself trusting or suspicious of others. Hmm. I mean, let's assume... Let's assume that's in a killing game situation is probably largely suspicious, honestly. Like, I'd be willing to cooperate as long as I don't have... You know, reason to believe somebody's gonna kill me. Rules. See, most of the time, the life for a friend. Yes, but I would maybe hesitate. You prefer to have the things solved or keep your options open. More important to trust yourself than trust others. Also, if you hold you back from the things you want to do, say myself. It's worse to fail and also linger than never try. Hmm. What defines you? Words, actions, or thoughts? I'm gonna say thoughts. I'm going to say midpoint on generosity. I do not make friends easily. I'm also not super easy to disturb usually. Hmm. I had, I had a gun done on this time. I'm pretty sure I've taken this exact quiz before. 
and gotten a different result. Honestly, you're not sure. I'll, I'll find out my unique name. <laughs> Which image speaks most to you? Got the like painted sky, the tower of rocks, the cat by a window, and the ocean. I like the cat one. Throughout it, yeah, out of these colors. It goes with more teal one. Which hair style would you choose? That one, I guess. This one, what do you wear? I mean, if I had to choose, I guess that one. Just not, like, what do you eat? Some pink donuts, some like apple rings. I'm not sure I'll go with the fruit salad. It's your favorite number? Four to six because six is my lucky number. What is your what is your favorite season? I I tend to like fall. What layer does your name start with? A through G. Do you like best animal sea creatures, farm animals, or pet animals? Last question, which do you like most? A clear blue sky, the ocean, a sunset, or a sunrise? I'm gonna go with a sunset. My, my unique name is Tally. Tally is, he has a girl's name. Tally as a girl's name is of, is of Gaelic origin. The meaning of Tally is peaceable. Did since we did SCR two, we must do two v three as well. Oh, it looks like it's the same one, so I can actually just, I can actually just answer, same name as I did before. And <coughs> and you get it an equivalent result, don't I guess. So I'll just
Alright, so... Apparently... Apparently, Maki is considered to be roughly equivalent to Gundam, despite being wildly different characters. <laughs> like, somehow... Let's see what this Dingarumpa Kin assigned quiz is all about. My favorite is Good by Despair. Which I imagine is just plus one to really all 16. Okay, off to a fantastic start. Question two, gay? <laughs> no. I I used to cosplay. I don't do it much anymore. But then again, there are no there are no no conventions going on right now anyway. So. At least not in person. Well, maybe there might be someone like New Zealand since they actually handled the pandemic responsibly. Pick three colors, any shade. Still no teal. So I guess I'm gonna go with like maybe a nice black, purple, you know, green. Okay, I was supposed to pick three colors. Has a childhood trauma. Hmm. I don't know. I know if that's why I'm here. Pick an atheist <laughs> pair of shoes. <laughs> I think they meant aesthetic, but honestly, honestly, pick an atheistic person <laughs> even better. <laughs> yeah, sure, I'll go with the black sneakers I guess <laughs> the black the black sneakers capable of defying God I guess <laughs> favorite Dangaronpa's uh, antagonist Celeste, Angie, Kukichi, Nagato, Buyakuya <laughs> because I'm pretty sure they just spawned because I'm pretty sure there's not a, I'm pretty sure there's only, I'm pretty sure there's only one on you in Viakia. Also, I guess kind of spoilers. Although, when I usually think of antagonists, I usually think of like. They actually fill the sort of rival position to the protagonist. So like... Are you the protagonist? Hmm... I mean... Might as well go with Hajime. What are your hobbies? Witchcraft, cosplaying, art, music, arson, martial arts, arts <laughs> in cooking slash baking. One of these things is not like the others. I guess I'll go with art. No. Just no. Which I mean you're 
You gave me a very limited selection. So like... Oh, oh boy! Which popular SDR2 ship for your parents? Let's find out. Or introvert... Pathetic. So you've got indie, quiet, gothic, and Victorian slash dark, dark academia. <laughs> I mean, I do like dark academia, and especially if you're going to make something to get something to give me a misspelling that can turn into an ace pun. <laughs> She's a color palette. Pinks, purples, and blues. Red, oranges, and yellows. The whole rainbow. Or green, greens, blacks, and browns. It's pinks, purples, and blues. Season, fall. Do you have dyed hair? No. Frowny face. <laughs> what would be the perfect date? Anywhere. Or as long as we're together. Movie theater, watching movie at home with, lo with lots of snack. <laughs> Useful walking, walking a park or at the beach, or something outdoors or adventurous. Sure, I'll cook with the first one. So, would you rather be indoors or outdoors? If the weather is nice, outdoors. What is your drink of choice? Milk, juice, or water? Anything carbonated, or coffee, or tea? Would you rather watch a movie or TV show? Definitely a TV show. I'd I hardly ever watch movies. Do go to a restaurant or eat takeout or such a way? Not, also not... Not big on, on restaurants, honestly. Huh. Well, I mean, none of the ones I particularly like are even on on the list, so... this one and find out what my ultimate talent is that hasn't been used in the game, I think. <laughs> I mean... Let's it simple. What, what's your hobby? Your hobbies? Gaming, or eating, working out, studying, or going outside. Well, let's let's go with all three of those. Name your name of your first son, J.K. J.K. Fave antagonist. Is it? Yeah, and see, I'm pretty sure that's how you spell Biakia. <laughs> and also, once again. Once again, they are using. They're using a very broad sense of antagonist. Because, like. I guess vague, vague spoilers, but, like, the worst thing Hyoko did was she was a bit of a bully. <laughs> How is that on par? In terms of antagonism, isn't this? 
with like Biakia. I'm not even entirely sure. I'm not even entirely sure what they're calling me an antagonist over. <laughs> Like, other than being horny on main, I mean, I mean what, what did she even do wrong? <laughs> I guess I'll go... Like, as far as... Like, as an antagonist, I enjoyed... Bjarke's role a lot more than... Most characters I would consider to actually be a true antagonist. This is a boring question, but favorite color? Well, once again, teal is not present. I'm gonna go with black slash white. Sure. Favorite anime? I mean. I mean, Nicarump is the only one I've actually seen out of the entire list, so... Might as well go with that one. Ah, uh, C. <laughs> Finish the lyric. Never can get it up. Freakas. Paprika. What? Ultimate paleontologist. Honestly? Pretty close. <coughs> because, like, honestly, because, like, I mean... You know, I, I would probably turn myself like ultimate behavioral scientist or something. But, you know, that's not even an option in the quiz. The closest is ultimate psychologist. Also, technically, both of these right down at the bottom have basically been used already. Because, like, they're just a slight variation on Hyoko and Nekomaru's whose talents. Because they generalized ultimate traditional dancer into ultimate dancer. And it specialized ultimate. Well, Nekomaru is ultimate team manager, so. Like, it's still insanely close. I guess... I say probably close enough that it doesn't... That mean, you know... Okay, well, let's... Well, let's find out what my magic power is. Your first question, are you ready to start? I guess. Okay, let's actually start. How do you greet someone, your friend? Hmm. Like what? What are... I guess the... I guess high is the one that I would actually go with. If I tripped and fell and you saw me, what would you do? 
help you up, help you up and beat up whoever tripped you, keep walking and ignore you, give an inspire speech to everyone around how we have to stick up for our friends. From, from the sounds of it, not at, uh, don't actually do anything. <laughs> help you up and walk you to class in case you fall again. And it, maybe up in the shirt or you're okay and because I won't let my friend ever or get hurt. Guess I would help him up. I think it hurt my arm when I fell. Ow. <laughs> you ever heard, heard some gossip about one of the people in your school what you do? Spread along the gossip that kid was mean to me, they did their payback. That for this was my friend, I would probably do anything and you could you know, to stop let people from talking about it. Discuss with my guild an elaborate plan to take down this evil monster called gossip. <laughs> I didn't, they didn't hear I wasn't there, I had already left before anyone noticed. I just won't pass on the information. I'm too lazy to forcefully stop people, but if it, Someone directly told me I would tell. Well, it's not sure. Let's go with that one. Well, this is the end. Bye. Goodbye. Just kidding. This is the actual last question. So here's the real goodbye. I'll miss you. Apparently all that amounts to my power being water. Out of water, no power, dragon slayer magic, fire, and invisibility. <laughs> Certainly... So, certainly an interesting array of native options. or H O O. Like. Oh yes. Yes, I'm. <laughs> Let's see. What's your favorite class in school? Math and science, reading. Social studies or he's in history or PE. I'm gonna go with reading social studies history. we are most likely to start the conversation, join in the conversation once the conversation starts, or just ignore the conversation altogether. Maybe I join in after the story started. You know what? You just I mean, honestly, I won't. Like trying to end my conversation that doesn't interest me, so because like if I have absolutely no interest, how will I come up with anything to say? What's your favorite genre to read? Action, fantasy, what else? Just fantasy for me, thriller, all those crime books. Oh, just go fancy. Got something? No one picking your know, little brother slash sister. What do you do? You know, tear the shreds. They learn, to learn not to bully my siblings. Push the antagonist away and take my new sibling home while I stick around. 
to the older sibling or friend and so they'll be able to take them or them down. You know, I'll go with that option. What what is your favorite time of day? Let's see morning pink just on the new day the sun is at its peak. Pre evening this yes this was on the big new theory sue me. Either afternoon nor evening. Dusk also known as twilight, the sun is just barely going down. Hmm. Or it's the afternoon evening. Uh, what's the ap afternoon option? Woke up the midday, I guess. You have to try these, these which would let you go. Oh, for, for a long, for a week long vacation. The woods are amazing. If you buy a vacation, who says you want a vacation? Yeah, sure, I'll go with that option because, like, none of those super interest me. Because out of all of those, the only one that's not pretty much in my backyard is there's a beach, and I've been to the beach and it was kind of dull, honestly. Question baby Not sure I'll go with that one. Your homework isn't when you have to finish the homework. Some point later that day, people get angry. <laughs> Hmm. Say that one. We're you're doing work. Hang it wrong. He said to you. Probably didn't ask for opinion. I mean, ultimately it depends. I'd say usually slow. I'm rarely violent and also not very strong. I'll do something you... Yeah, I'd say... I'd say option on that one Beta, you're typically calm and collected. You're safe, neutral. You take, you take, obey the alpha of your group, and do, you know, don't take their idiocy. You're not afraid to call them out, out if you're doing, they're doing some, something that's stupid. Well, <laughs> you may not be the most dominant. You have your own set that rules that others tend to follow. To be the best friend or sibling to the alpha, you are also their advisor. You may not be a you know, leader, but you have, have enough have characteristics to get by. You're certainly not a blind follower. You lead when needed, especially if the Alpha is out of town. You take care of the pack in the Alpha's absence. <laughs> well, that that's something.
That is certainly a thing. So let's see. Let's see what more quizzes we can find. It looks like half hour. I think first we'll be right back. I could do something to drink that was getting kind of and then getting kind of warm. I'm back. I to go for the next like half hour. <laughs> you know, let's find out what oh, my general personality is based on. This quiz set apparently includes. Is a bad grammar, Google Translate, and suck pictures. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Yes, again, you don't need to tell me about the photos. Let's see. I mean, only one of the these gets me a singular color.
Wear someone with a color scheme. Yeah. You tend to go for like... I like a good pass to just look at that. What music do you prefer? I mean, we established, I guess, pop music, apparently. How do you feel dying? Sorry if it's making you uncomfortable, but I need to it because of result. <laughs> and it's, it's kind of tough. Like, really? <laughs> I really, really think I really think much of it, but I'm not, not ready. I'm scared. Nah, I don't I really care of me. And I'm just living my life. Uh, I knew that I to live myself and enjoy my real life. Maybe you can be my saver, or I want him if my life has worse things than this. I'm just gonna go with the sort of middle road option, I guess. Do you good with yourself? Hmm, do I good with myself? <laughs> that is an excellent question. <laughs> the options are, yeah, pretty good. I do not care of myself. I mean, if I don't count on, on with myself, then how, how I'm alive? <laughs> Pretty bad, bad as hell. Oh, and, well, I love it anyways. Not sure, there sometimes it can be, be good, but then it can be worse. <laughs> I'll, go, I'll go with that option. Which color you prefer about your eye and hair? I know it sounds ridiculous, but as I say, I need it for your result. I you know the picture is more worse than other. Oh, sorry. D and D. <laughs> See, myself for hairs, gray fries, brown for hairs. Mines are pretty good and for me. <laughs> I do not care. Blue eyes, brown hairs, other color about hair and eyes. Mine are pretty good. <laughs> Someone bumps into you. And you've got we've got rage face. Someone bumps into you at somewhere and you drop all your items. What do you do? Apologize him or her. You doing it by the way. I he reciprocate in the same way. Push him or her in, in her pay. Not, not care much. Collect my eyes and continue my way. Got you got is that success kid? What do you do in your free time? Picture was hella good by the way. Listen music, study to lesson, painting, go, go a walk, read a book, watch TV, YouTube, Netflix, play game online or outside, chat online or chat face to face, hang with my friends, hang with social network sites, sleep, nothing, I don't have time, get, get some drink and food. You lay into an armchair and get relaxed. Great composition, book, song, etc. You know, play game online or, or outside, I think it said. <laughs> What's your basic clothing style? Comfy, casual, sweatshirt, perfect, cute, basic white girl, short sleeved, or other? I mean, my, the way I usually dress is pretty comfy. Pick a word, fate, sport, bed, ice cream, headphone, moons, mobile phone, friends, laziness, loneliness, and crush. I 
Plus fate. She knows what to get depressed for. I used Google Translation for it. Of my negligent knows because it, if I did something wrong, um, wasted effort. See my crush slash boyfriend slash girlfriend someone. Died someone in my family. Being alone, can't do what I want or other. I mean, it was being alone, I guess. It was the first day you set that foot in high school. So what was the first thing you realized at that moment? Remember that forgot my keys in the box. Remember that it's not going to be okay. Remember that it's going to be worse with living idiots and finally get my own house. What? <laughs> I don't know what kind of high school you went to. Which I mean... For all I know, that could be a normal experience to finally get your own house when and you enter into public high school. Like, do high schools have like dorms? They're not other. How would your first impression be when you when you, when you meet a known person? Say hi, how are you? And like the, these usual questions of shyness. Just say hi, then continue in my way. Not even care if her slash her. Look him slash her with an angry and reckless look. Look him slash her sweet and in, 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 in connect look. <laughs> or with friendly hi. I'm just gonna go with that one. State yourself, multiple choice. Fun, loving, clumsy, laid back, sarcastic, friendly, other, easygoing, arrogant, self centered, never hesitate anything. And I'm a dot dot free soul. Why not? Okay, that was a quiz. Say goodbye and take care. behaviors. The image sucks it looks anyway. Congratulations, you're in at 25% part. Well, it's, this means you're, you're nearly a special person. Don't get it bad. Many people almost once <laughs> that you that but you know anyways <laughs> means you can count on cold, depressed, childish, sweet Childish, funny ETC. <laughs> Isn't it pretty good? All I can say is <laughs> this. I guess so. Goodbye. Take care. <laughs> and apparently, the possible results are you have both behaviors. You're generous, kind. You're kind of sniffed. <laughs> You're sad, or you're undepressed people. <laughs> but just... But there's just something... There's something so good about... Do you good with yourself? <laughs> And like I, and like honestly, that is that is an excellent question. Like that's a question you should always ask yourself: is do you good with yourself? <laughs> oh, oh no. Which Omegaverse dynamic are you? I have read things about Omegaverse. And I'm not sure I want to know. <laughs> let's find out my Japanese name. You know, let's, let's find a name. 
for the ultimate paleontologist, I guess. This is a long time like Sonya and the transfer studio or something. They, you know, my character would be Japanese despite me not being Japanese. Actually, you know what? No, let's let's see what they recommend based on this quiz. Oh, just like which dream SMP member are you really? Oh, it seems like I mean, honestly, I don't know if we can talk. I don't know if we can necessarily top a quiz that has questions like choose what to get depressed for <laughs> and and do you good with yourself? <laughs> like I I'm not sure if you can really top that. This is only two days old. This is a very new quiz. The person get any any other quizzes. Oh, we've got. What does people think of you when they meet you? been usually I know what color do you get more I know it's, it's really usual I know what knows that the picture sucks I can't go with other because you still get to give me quit it gives me the teal option so do you have, have any friends? Sorry for asking, but it's okay. Hey, if you don't, I'll never be to you. I know that the picture sucks. I'd like to think I have friends, at least. Do you like night or day more? You know the picture sucks. I mean... Most of the time when I'm up late at night, it's because of insomnia, so lately I have been preferring day. So, I'd say, yeah, day is more good. At least, you know, if I'm... If I'm up during the day and have a decent amount of energy, that is more good. Because that's probably healthier for me. Which do you prefer? I know most of the picture sucks. But be single is more is more good than anything and than everything. <coughs> I PDC and I don't love people that much so I don't need them. Just everything one day I'm gonna meet in my sweetheart where I can feel it. I mean, I go either way honestly. How you act to people's multi my choice. <laughs> I know that the picture sucks. Sure to be kind to people, but I can also see people seem to me need to be cold. I don't know. Sometimes things cold, cold, or <laughs> sometimes good, sometimes cold, cold or something. In connect. <laughs> You know, I've got to go with InConnect. 
pick a fate. It just, honestly, it will affect it will affect to the result. Because the picture sucks. You got fate in italics. Fate with alternating in capitalization, starting with the lowercase and an underscore. Fate with the reverse alternate in capitalization. And yeah, you know, I'm gonna go with the the one in the, in the italics. So what? So that was the last question. Well, I'll uh, hope you enjoyed, matey. Bye until next time. You are kind of boring. I know that the picture sucks. Don't get it bad because of title. I'm sure that you're funny. And that you're so funny. Remember this quiz show knows you why other people else think about you. Not uh, you. They can understand you wrongly. You, maybe it's really so no funny. You, but it may not sound funny to the person in front of you. So don't be sad it, that it can that it can be. He much much reasons I'm not God, so I can't. <laughs> and no, it is. It, it's with just a general type of thinking, and this means you're a special person. And you should be happy be with this, anyways. It's the end of talking. So goodbye until another time. Take care of yourself, matey. <laughs> and the the other. The possibilities are, you're very funny, you're uh, both good and bad, and you are my type. <laughs> oh, oh yes, you, you know what? Let's find out what got <laughs> And that will probably be where we'll leave off. Hiya! <laughs> Sup? Like, why are you attacking me? So, to get started, what is your view on makeup? Well, I like it, Kate. Ace, it makes, makes me look hot. Ha ha. <laughs> hmm. Well, well, I mean, I don't care if some people wear it. I or just don't cake it on. Some people really need it, others don't. <laughs> Hell, if you feel no more confident, wear it all you want. A little is okay, but don't cover your true beauty. I'm gonna say, do what you want. Like, if you're not hurting yourself, all for others, and go for it. Moving on, my beauties. <laughs> How was your day on a daily basis? Whale moans. It's okay, not the best, just okay. It's usually good, blah blah blah, derp. Is usually amazing. So the, the question we all hate: What's your favorite favorite color, girl? <laughs> I'm gonna go with the pastel colors. <laughs> Last question, hon. What do you know? What do you first know in a guy? His personality, heart. His lips yummy. <laughs> Heist toes, lol. His nice butt. <laughs> How he styles his hair, I guess. Oh, good. When a guy first meets you, they notice your outstanding personality. Once a guy he starts talking to you, they never want to stop. They think you're or just the most sweetest and funniest girl they, they have ever met. <laughs> Trust me, hon, you're going, you're going to grow up and have an amazing husband if you keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> oh, oh, this is going to be good. Who is your Homestuck BFF? It all in the title, woman. <laughs> Jordy the killer. I'm a cult.
Yes, Cog. Please don't kill me. Knife for color. Jessica reaches for knife. Me, no. Green like a leaf. Blue like ocean. Pink. I mean, hey. I guess I'll go with pink. Oh, this is... This is fantastic. <laughs> you know, four questions. And we all we already have <laughs> We already have Gamzy looking like he's in pain. Probably from how tight Crooked skinny jeans are on his crotch. <laughs> Paper animal unicorns, dogs, cats, pancakes. Okay, girls, be, be honest. I suck at spelling. <laughs> you like any of these guys? Karka, I like his nubby horn. Okay, weirdo. Gamzy, he's funny. Ha ha ha, weird. Like... Like, va vague spoilers, but... That he does something... He does something real hilarious after... <laughs> after X... But uh, the report went back five. So looks I'm 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 beat his button i I'm beat his button video games. That's harsh. Mean man <laughs> that's mean. Not sure. So looks is alright. Freebie, I like that word. Me too, best friend. I might as well pick at least one of the pancakes questions. I mean, honestly, I'll take it. Which, I mean, there was only four options anyway. <laughs> Let's find out where the how this one compares to the the actual I guess canon quiz. Ooh, so oh, come on. you make your bed in the morning. Which there there is some basis for that being an indicator for lunar sway because like my my bed right now is horribly a main and I and, and I am a thirst streamer according to the official quiz like the like the extended zodiac quiz and like if you notice all the canon characters at least all the canon kids that are Durst Dreamers do tend to have horribly unmade beds. Are you a morning dove or a night owl? Hmm. I mean, I'm not great with mornings so much as afternoons, so I guess out of those two, night owl? I like cats better than dogs. What's your opinion on the creation of a new universe? Just wild. <laughs> Wild shift in in the in topic. Like, oh yeah, what what animal do you like? What's your opinion on the creation of a new universe? Like, I know it's it's a Homestuck Spurb question. It's a, it's a Homestuck Spurb quiz. So it's it's a relevant question, but. But like, 
Like, it's a tongue whiplash. I think it's hella cool that we're going to be able to experience an entirely new and possibly better universe. I hope it's going to have beautiful, multi-like formations. Or, I do not think a new universe is necessary. We are familiar with this universe, and we were created in this universe, so for we belong here. I mean, honestly, the world does kind of suck sometimes. In your opinion, are you ma are making rules better than relying on morals? Rules are morals because you can't trust people, people are jerks. Rules are be taught when to do good, not forced. Honestly, yeah. Just make the video games you like more. Games where you build things and personalize your character. Games where you fight other players and require strategy. I like both of those, honestly. I like apple juice or grape juice more. I, I like some grape juice news on occasion. Which of these writers do you like more? C.S. Lewis, H.P. Lovecraft, or Can't Decide? He what does CS Lewis even write? Because, like, the name just is not summoning any. Hmm. There's a, a British, British writer and lay theologian. Hmm. You're not necessarily a big fan of Lewis. Back to back to the as I was going to get so many tattoos at this point. Honestly, neither of them were great because I'm pretty sure H.P. Lovecraft had like. I'm pretty sure H.P. Lovecraft is a guy that had a cat that was literally named a racial slur, so. So, you know, not not necessarily that big of a fan of them, honestly. If you had the option to find out how you will die, would you accept? Hmm. Question, can I do something about it? Because, like... If I could... Because, like, if this is a means by which I could prevent my own death, that would be fantastic. But otherwise, no, I'd rather not know. Yeah. I... I definitely am a Dursite. Dursite, also known as the Kingdom of Darkness, is one of the two kingdoms in the Encephosphere. Durs wages an unending war against the Light Kingdom, Prospect, serving for the destruction of Skya. Durs has always been destined to defeat Prospect, forcing the players to kill the Black King on their own, known after Prospect is destroyed. <coughs> Let's find out what this most accurate <laughs> most of God tier class quiz is. Do you use your powers for personal gain or to help others? Be honest, even if you don't like your answer. I mean, honestly, personal gain, I guess. Understand. I don't, I don't care <clears throat> about your gender class as. That was crockery that was outright debunked by Andrew Hussey himself. Life gives you new lemons. Choose the answer the best describes how you would do. Hmm. You got eat grown known cell lemons by utilizing what is known about none of them. Learn more about the process. Study the lemons and write a book about them for the reference of others. These lemons love to make lemonade, 
nips, pies, cake, etc. Become a spokesperson for the lemon gods. Grow a forest of lemon trees. To use lemons and... Now let's study the lemons and write a book. I mean, I pretty much always referred to myself as a seer ever since I realized I was, I guess, more passive. Scott Tierton, your favorite won't really take the result. And what do you know? I got seer. <laughs> a seer is a passive understanding class. True, they true to their name can see the flow of their aspect to perhaps to a greater degree than any other class. And with this knowledge, they move over the world, usually by lending advice to others in terms of their own actions. Let's see, do, do we have... Do we have an aspect quiz somewhere down here? Which also apparently self and thief were tied for second place. And literally all the others except for the Bard were tied for third place. <laughs> you know, let's let's find out if See if there's any aspect quiz down here, which I mean... Hmm... But... Oh... You might as well do all three. You know, quiz, you know, lunar spade, like in class. So I'm just gonna switch it up, I guess. That'll probably be what we leave off on. As soon as it feels like loading. Choice E Zodiac quiz. Like just a version of it where you can choose multiple options. So you know what? You want to help help people accomplish something and they really don't know what they're doing. Definitely show them how to do it because, as in, like, you know, sort of teach them how they could go about it rather than just encourage them, them to try. <clears throat> when you're learning about a new subject or reading a fascinating story, do you feel a strong desire to know everything about it? I already know quite a bit. 
You hear? I just want to explain something. Provide a correction or two, but won't get ca carried away. Honestly. Hmm. I'm just gonna say leaning towards space travel because I guess it's slightly safer. If you're working on a project, something you're doing for yourself, not for anyone else. Hmm. Results are important, but I would like to enjoy along me too. <coughs> Everything best describes what's more important to you, understanding yourself and fully knowing who you are. I definitely lean towards strong decisions. My idea is more interesting to you, the ability to fully understand your potential as a person, or the ability to fully understand all potential consequences of your actions before taking it. I mean, understanding the potential consequences is very good. <coughs> Definitely having conviction, beliefs I like, circumstances are intolerably bad. I tend towards... I tend towards having a solution first, but not absolutely. See someone suffering is you're more you're most inclined to do where you can help them. Let them get better, or doesn't seem to relate to their suffering. Say, focus on helping. Someone suffers misfortune, so terrible that you know there's nothing you can, anyone can do for them. I would feel bad that nothing can be done. I got mind, followed by hope. I usually get on the actual official instance of the actual four o'clock EST, so that's where I'm going to end things off for today. So th thank you all for watching. Next stream tomorrow. with tomorrow with some more cyber manhunt around the same time so roughly 1 p.m. to 4 or p.m. EST Getting close to the end, although, you know, the circumstances, you know, this last week kind of put a hold on that. Let's see.